Hi, my name's Joan Walsh. I'm the Bertrand Chair of Field Ornithology for Mass Audubon. Like many of you, we're working from home for the next few weeks, and we're finding it difficult to stay connected to nature. We're hoping that with this new experiment that we have, we'll be able to both keep ourselves connected to nature, as well as help you stay focused on nature. So we're gonna start a grand experiment. A few times a week, we're gonna be creating videos from our farm in Western Massachusetts and help to usher spring in, which given what it looks like today, it looks like spring's on its way in Massachusetts. So join us today as we learn a little bit more about the common feeder bird, the dark-eyed junco. Dark-eyed junco is one of the more common birds at our feeders during the winter. At this time of year, one of the things that I enjoy the most about dark-eyed juncos is that when I hear their trilling bell-like call, I know that it's a junco because in a few more weeks, we're gonna have pine warbler and chipping sparrow in the yard also singing their bell-like trilling call. And I find those fairly difficult to tell apart. Dark-eyed junco is the original snowbird. They were called snowbirds because they would arrive late in the fall and stay with us all the way through the winter getting ready to leave for their breeding grounds further to the north in late April or early in May. But those of you who live in western Massachusetts know that there are so still some juncos that breed in the western part of the state, so we're lucky enough to have them all year long out here. Today, we have footage of both male and female juncos where you can see slight differences in their coloration. See if you can pick out the more brown female who contrasts nicely with the slaty gray and white males. Well, thanks so much for joining us for our first installment as we welcome spring to Western Massachusetts. It was great to learn a little bit more about the snowbirds, the dark-eyed juncos. And if you wanna take time to either share photographs that you have, put them in the comments below. And if you're parents with kids at home, why not learn even a little bit more about dark-eyed juncos? Maybe write a poem or draw a picture. And it's, include those in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. This is all about staying together. So let's keep on doing this. Thanks so much.